Hi and welcome to another session of my 3D printer diary. Uh, in a previous session uh, we uh, installed uh, the stepper driver for uh, one of the um, axes. Uh, in fact it was this exact one. It was the uh, z-axis. As you can see uh, I installed uh, the rest of them and I made comment before on uh, heat sink orientation um, and it's a little easier to see on uh, with it now assembled why I chose the orientation I want to blow the air across either this way or this way as opposed to this way and having the fins oriented orientated in the manner in which I have uh, gives the shortest uh, path across the board uh, and allows the heat to be cleared from between the fins. Um, I'm not uh, a full-on engineer but that just seems to make sense for me uh, and I didn't come up with it on my own I did get it uh, from watching um, other uh, electronics videos. Um, <clears throat> so now the next uh, section uh, in order to actually start uh, testing uh, the stepper drivers. Uh, you'll remember our actual Arduino mega board from uh, when we unpackaged and if you look at the boards it's pretty easy to see how they can attach. You got the two rows of holes and the two rows of pins and along the side we have one row of holes and pins on each as well. So the trick is get them aligned all the way around. Start with the double row and you'll see that everything aligns pretty well going through the rest. And press it down until we see that the boards join together. And that's pretty smooth. Um, Now in order to actually test, we're going to need to ensure that we hook up to the computer. Again, like I said before, the USB, we had this all hooked up in a previous video. Um, I had to use other things on the computer since then, so get this done as quickly as possible. And there we are, and you'll see that we have the original code still installed on there with the fast blink. Um, I reset it again after I did the SOS. Uh, so you can see that the board still appears to be functioning. I'm going to disconnect it while we hook up. We got some stepper motors. Yes, another order so we can go through the unpacking. I ordered a three pack of stepper motors. Um, I actually ordered a couple of three packs. The link will be in the description at the bottom of the video of which order, which motors I ordered. We're going to need, in order to test this as it is, we're going to need five motors. We have three in this package. And as you can see, they, these came with uh, mounting brackets, bubble wrapped individually. and mounting screws to mount the motors to uh, the mounting brackets, but we won't actually be using those. Um, and in this video, we won't be using the mounting screws. Um, we'll just be using motors. And we have, remember I said I have two boxes, two packages of three and we will be needing five motors for actually we will be needing all six motors for this package 
or for this demonstration, I think. Uh, two Z motors, X, Y, two Z motors, X axis, Y axis, extruder one, and extruder two. Or, in the case of the board, extruder zero and extruder one. So, we will be needing all six motors. And, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now, let's go through the unpackaging. You can see they come lots of styrofoam to keep it safe and the cord in a nice bundle. So, I will get all of these unpackaged really quick so that you're not bored. I'll just I will just pause and un pause the video while it's recording and unpack everything and get it laid out. Okay, and here we have it. All six motors. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the ramps board makes it very easy to determine which uh, the power board, the, the power connectors for each. So this is your X. You can see down inside there are four pins. Your Y, there are four pins. For Z, you'll see that you have two rows of pins. That's because a lot of uh, 3D printers use uh, two lead screws, uh, one on each end of the Z axis, uh, powered by separate motors. And then you have extruder zero and extruder one. Um, important uh, to note, we need to line up the pins and you want to make sure that you have the pins done in the same color on each motor. Um, whether it's left or right, um, I'll be honest, the board isn't labeled to tell you uh, which, nor is the motor, uh, but they are bi-directional. Uh, so if it's spinning in the wrong direction, you can either swip it or switch it around in the uh, on the board, or I believe the code uh, can be uh, switched to and very easy to uh, plug it in um, rather than bore you with going through every single plug I will pause the video again and get everything plugged in and there you have it and see all of the motors are now connected now, I did forget one uh, rather important piece of um, requirement, and that was the power. We haven't gone through the power supply. I do have the power supply, uh, and I have had it hooked up before. Um, so I'm going to need to do a... <clears throat> Well, I don't need to do anything separate. Uh, I have you here. So, here is the power supply that I ordered. It is a 12 volt, 360 watt uh, power supply. Uh, got a little protection there. We have the um, power in over here and the power out over here. Um, I'm going to slide the <coughs> ramps board and the motors out of the way and do some power connecting work on the power supply for you to be able to see. Alright, and there is the power supply. I have pre-cut some cables 
for this purpose. Uh, the power, power, uh, the Rams board came with uh, two sets of crimped or crimpable connectors, which I already have crimped on. Uh, came with two of those. I just and there are the two. These are for connecting into the ramps board itself. So the other end, I have pre-set up my cables for my power supply. Um, now these will go from this end. These are the power out cables going into the ramps board. Um, it's actually a fairly straightforward procedure. You have to read the board and give me just a moment. I just want to make sure that it's understood. Ah, there it is right there on the board. You can see voltage plus, voltage minus, and then you see ground, neutral, and live. The three at this end of the board are of the power supply. Uh, the first three are your live, neutral, and ground. And then the next three are your negative or your black wire. And the next three are your positive or your red wire for your DC voltage. So, <clears throat> a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver is all you need. You need to slide it. If you look real close, you can see that there are two plates. Uh, you want to slide it below the plates as such. So that the pin, whoops, my camera dropped, <laughs> goes between, and you can tighten that up in there. Um, I know some people are really good at this, and they slide it in and do it, do everything. I'm demonstrating it really quick so that you can then understand. So your wires will look that way spread across. I'm going to get these um, uh, tightened down um, and then I I will show you what it looks like afterwards. So I'm just going to pause the recording and get that taken care of. Alright, now as you can see my reds and my blacks and two separate wires going into my connectors and they're in there. Tighten them up. Now for safeties we'll just do that but we're still going to need to hook up our main power but before we do that we'll make sure we hook up to the board because as you can see on this board there's no actual power switch uh, included so we have our ramps board I'm sliding it back into view I've got all the motors still connected and trailing behind now, this is all delivering the same power. So, when it comes to which ones we deliver in here. Now, this is one drawback to this board. If you see these capacitors, they're leaned over top. We're not going to have clear access, so we're going to need to gently straighten these up so that we can actually get a fine tipped uh, screwdriver into there to do our loosening and tightening. Uh, and I just had that kit right here one moment so yeah a very fine tipped jeweler's screwdriver uh, to loosen these off Now, just examining in here, 
just says master. I'm trying to determine which is positive and which is negative. Because it really does matter. <laughs> I'm going to assume it goes in the same format. Oh wait, there it is right in there. So the board is labeled as positive, negative, positive, negative. So we want to take our reds and put them in every other one and our blacks right, let's just do one wire and then the other wire This was positive negative, so they are right beside each other on this one, not like the power supply where it goes positive, positive, negative, negative. So we, it's important that we make that distinction here because you do not want to hook these up wrong. You'll fry the board, possibly fry something else. Uh, look, Electricity, electronics is very dangerous if you hook things up wrong, so. Get this taken care of really quickly. Sorry for the delay. although this wire seems to have decrimped so before we go any further I'm going to disconnect this wire and make sure that uh, yeah see it's moving quite well and the crimp has released uh, I'm gonna pause this and get this recrimped and now they're all connected <clears throat> so the next step would be connecting it to actual power and getting it programmed so that the motors will actually do something we'll do that in the next session um, of the diary <laughs>